Okay, good afternoon class. So uh, today we're now looking at exercise 2.1. So from the previous exercise in general, from this exercise you will now notice the following. The coefficient of x squared in each case is 1 and the third term is equal to half the coefficient of x squared. And we just spoke about that now, not so... And this is on this uh, exercise of 2.2 is on page 20. Okay. Well, the examples is on page. Why is that person so surprised? Okay. So the question says, what must be added to each of the following to make a perfect square triangle? Okay. So looking at number one, the sum was x squared plus 10x plus the question, what must be added? So how do we get that term that must be added? It's going to be b. It's always b times half squared. Not so. So what's the b in this case? 10. So it's 10 multiplied by half squared. Plus 10 multiplied by half? 5 squared, which is? Can you see that, people? And in turn, it could be written as... Okay, I didn't need to take it over. It could be written as... X plus... 5 squared. Can you see that? So what is x squared? x squared. x times 5 times 2? 10x. 10x. What's 5 squared? 5. Easy, no? What's, what's difficult about it? Huh? So why you say, say, shake your head and say no? If you're confused, you just tell me, and I'll try and explain it. Don't shake your head and then I ask you, then you say no, it's easy. I think that's a bit. Okay, let's look at number two. So you've got x squared minus 6x. Again, what must be added to the following to make a perfect squared line number? So we go again. What must be added here? So how do we get that? So it'll be 6 multiplied by half. Squared. What's 6 multiplied by half? 3 squared. And 3 squared is? Okay. We must write that as a binomial square. What should it be? X minus 3 squared. And we can test it. Okay. What is X all squared? X squared. What is 3 multiplied by uh, x multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by 2? Negative 6x. You see that? Negative 3 all squared. So in other words, it's negative 3 times negative 3, which is? No. You guys understand? Let's look at number 3. We've got x squared plus x. The question is, what must be added here to complete the square root? So what's your b value here? 1. So it's 1 times half and it must be squared. What's 1 times half? Half squared. So quarter must be added to x squared plus x to get the perfect squared value. Okay, you guys understand? So, this can be written as Square root of x squared, x plus, oh, and it must be squared. Okay, what is x all squared? X squared. What's x times half times two? X times half times two. That cancels not so. Leave you with x, and then a quarter squared. I'm sorry, half squared. Is there any confusion here? 
the whole of Kaivalas. Okay. So that with that, you should have been able to have done exercise 2.2, which is on page 25. Was there only three examples, no?